Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. We are back at it again on Leapfrog Day 2. We are going to see what we can get done today on our beautiful wondrous new island. Blathers has joined us. We did finish Blathers uh, his museum last time. Okay, we got to stop by his tent for details. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Thanks, Tom. And we have our house. I totally forgot. Look at my little yellow roof. I like it. All right, we also have mail, so let's check the mail. We got something from our mom. How is your new island life treating you? Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth, washing behind your ears. Um, Mom, I actually don't have a bathroom here, so can you come pick me up? I'm scared. Okay, what do we get? Oranges, nice. And a wooden mini table, awesome. Okay, so I wanna plant these oranges. Oh, 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 oh. give me DIY recipes right now. They're all amazing to me. Oh, a mirror, nice. Okay, I really wanna plant these oranges, so I don't have a shovel DIY. I'm gonna check if they have it for sale. Oh, they're talking to each other. Oh, did I did I walk in on something? Sorry for eavesdropping, Tom Nook. Uh, hi. Are you happy with your home? I haven't even walked inside of it. I honestly don't even know. Houses are so different from tents. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Tom, our first Nook Mile ticket. Nice. Okay, there's so much going on today. We have to go check the museum. We have to go on our villager hunt. I have to like go put stuff in storage. Now, Timmy wants to like, what does he want to do? I think he wants to build the shop. Oh my God, even Timmy wants to collab with me. Oh my God, my subscribers are gonna love you, Timmy. 30 pieces of all the woods and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. <laughs> That's kind of sketchy to me. Uh, how do I, how the heck do I get a shovel? Tom, how do I get a shovel? I gotta Google this because oh, why is it so hard to get a shovel? Get a shovel. Oh, I have to go talk to Blathers. Okay, let's just, <laughs> we should just do our regular tasks and the game will progress. Oh, look at his little tent. I forgot how cute it was like this. Time to go through like all his freaking dialogue. Nice. Okay, we got the vaulting pole. Yeah, shovel. Okay, blathers come through. Okay, 15 bugs and fish. Easy, easy. I have never and I will never let him tell me extra information about these bugs and fish. I'm sorry, I don't have the time. Okay, okay, so we got a lot to do. Um, first let's work on the island and then we can do our first villager hunt later. And also, a lot of you guys told me that you didn't need the vaulting pole right away. If you, uh, buy the swimsuit from Timmy and Tommy in the shop, you're able to, like, go to the parts of your island that you wouldn't normally be able to. So that's a tip. Um, I don't need to anymore. I was going to, but I just got the vaulting pole, so we're good. But on your first day, if you don't have the vaulting pole, but you want to go explore more, just go buy the swimsuit from Timmy and Tommy. It was it was that easy. I can't even believe I didn't even think of that. Smacking lots of trees, smacking lots of trees, smacking lots of trees. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, we should really be focusing on our Nook Miles. I kind of want to get an extra ticket because I know Tom Nook gives you a free one. But what if the villager we get, like, I'm not gonna go, like, on an extreme hunt right now, but I don't want the villager we get, like, the first villager to be, like, chops or something, and then we have to take chops, like, no, like, that's not gonna happen. So I want one extra, like, safety net Nook Mile ticket just in case, you know? I have no idea where Flo is. She decided to just go take a swim in the icy waters, I guess. Oh, look, Gulliver, already? <gasps> Sweet. Can this man wake up, please? Thanks. Will you help me find my communicator parts? Yes. Gulliver, oh, you're so silly. You're so silly, Gulliver. You can see the pain in my eyes. Let's plant some orange trees since our mom sent us some oranges. Well, you're up early. You sound like my family anytime I would wake up before 1 p.m. <gasps> she gave me an extra shovel. Nice. Oh, it's, it's an even better shovel than the one I have. Thank you, Flo. Man, Flo is such a queen. She's looking out for me. Okay, we planted the orange trees. I still have to look for Gulliver's communication parts. Here's the first one. I have like no beach to go off of. Oh yeah, I have to, I gotta make a vaulting pole. Okay, okay. Look at my little baby house. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. All right, now we can finally 
put things into storage. Thank God. <gasps> Hello. Yes, I am getting stuff to build a shop. What's he gonna give me? Oh, thank you. That was so nice of you, Rod. He gave me five. Okay. Baby's first vaulting pole. Let's go. So the goal right now is to finish up getting the stuff for Gulliver. I need four more communicator parts. And then I want to complete some Nook Miles tasks so that I can... Oh, I forgot you could do this. Hey, okay. And then we're going to complete some Nook Miles tasks so I can get a second ticket just in case. And then we're going to go on our first villager hunt. I see a bug. I see those bugs on the rocks. You're going into Blathers' tent. Whether you like it or not. Hey. I'm also going to shake trees while I'm over here just so we can get our daily two items potentially. I'm afraid. I keep shaking trees and nothing comes out. Where are the wasps? I know they're coming. Okay, I found a fossil. I have no space in my inventory though. Here's a roach, Blathers. See, this time I don't blame him for being disgusted. I'm also disgusted. A presentation? Blathers is out here having a PowerPoint ready to go with his little remote clicker and everything? Dude, no. We're on a deserted island. Why is this your priority? Nice. We just hit 2,000 miles. So if I want to go get an extra ticket, then I can. I hope you like seashells because I got a lot of them. Maybe you can make yourself a little necklace or something. That'd be cute. All right, still working on the communicator parts. I don't know why they just don't exist on my island currently, but we'll find them, hopefully. And I feel like I shook every tree on my island. I didn't even get wasps. <gasps> no, I spoke too soon. Oh, no, no, no. I can't switch to my... Oh, my God. I... The karma in this game. I'm also big dumb and I also forgot that you can just talk to your villagers and sometimes they'll give you the recipe or they'll give you medicine. Flo, I have a boo-boo. Thank you, Flo. I knew I could count on you. I should learn my lesson and I should not be shaking these without a net in my hand. But am I too lazy to switch it? Yes. Will I get stung again? Probably. Looking for the communicator parts. Where are they? Where are they? Why do they not want to show themselves? This is so mean. This is so mean. I just need to get a stupid thing for Gulliver because I guess he's too lazy to do it himself or something. I don't know why he wants me to do his labor for him. That's just the theme in this game. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, here's one. Thank you. Thank you for not being a clam. You live to see another day. And I think that's all of them. Yes, that's all of them. Yes, here you go. Okay, Gulliver is done. Ah, much better. I have some shells to get rid of. Let's go sell those. We'll get our extra Nook Mouth ticket and then we'll go on our villager hunt. All right, extra one printed. This is the anti-chops ticket. It's so funny how we just live on this abandoned deserted island with like no buildings, but then they have like this airport in here with like computers and stuff like that. Like, can you guys not share? Like, what is this? They were able to build like a whole huge working airport with electricity and stuff like that. But like for us, oh no, sweetie, you get tents. All right, let's use our Nook Mile ticket. Ah, our first Nook Mile ticket of Leapfrog. I'm excited. I'm also scared because I I don't want to get a bad villager. Again, like I said last episode, and if you didn't watch uh, last episode, which was our very first day on Leapfrog, then go ahead and watch it. But um, I don't actually care about getting my Dreamies right now. I want to save that for, you know, when Leapfrog is more finished and I'm actually doing like speed builds and stuff like that. Right now for the beginning playthrough of the island, I'm just getting like whatever villagers. I actually don't want my dreamies because they have the basic houses and I don't want them to have the basic houses. I really dislike the basic houses with like the wood block furniture. So I'm just gonna take someone, you know, if they're like, okay. And it's Twiggy, I think. Is this Twiggy? It is Twiggy. <gasps> 
You know what? I think I will take Twiggy. She's really cute. Like Twiggy, I'm okay with. I'm totally okay with Twiggy and I'm not gonna risk it and get chops on like our next ticket. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab all the materials first and then we will ask Twiggy to come to our island and she'll be forced to say yes because we just got rid of all the natural resources on this abandoned island that she's living on. We gotta grab some coconuts for sure. I really want some new clothes. That is what I would be really happy about. I don't like this pineapple shirt. I don't like these skinny jeans. The hat's okay. The hat I'm not mad about. I don't like the red shoes. I don't. So I actually think the wood is gonna be pretty easy to gather up. The hard part is gonna be the iron nuggets and I forgot if we need stone. I really should remember because I literally just talked to Timmy like half an hour ago or Tommy or whoever. I don't know. Who cares? I kind of want to give him all the materials for the shop today. That would be really nice. And lastly, let's ask Twiggy to come live with us. She's cute. She's very kid core. I like her. Her colors are really, really adorable. Moving to Leapfrog. Yay! We got our third villager. I'm honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm very scared for the campsite. I don't want to have a chops repeat. That's what scarred me forever. All right, Blathers, you're gonna be so excited. I have two things for you. Now I have a mole cricket. He's really ugly, but be nice to him. Since we got coconuts on the mystery island, I'm gonna go ahead and plant them. So we can get some nice coconut trees going. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna hit all my rocks. Oh, we got money rock, yes. Okay, we're getting there with the resources. But I'm just trying to smack all my rocks. Give them a little slappy slap. <gasps> balloon. Balloon, balloon, balloon. Okay. This is it. This is it. Balloons are the most valuable currency right now. Because they hold so many secrets. Book stands. I'll take them. Okay, let's pick up all this wood that I was chopping down earlier that I just was too lazy to pick up. Okay, so these are all of our materials. We're actually extremely close. We have enough regular wood. We only need seven more nuggets and we just need like a couple more of each type of softwood and hardwood. So I think I'm gonna use that extra nook mount ticket that I got. I still have it in my inventory. And we're gonna go to another mystery island. I don't know if we can take two villagers right now. I'm gonna go ask Tom Nook and also get these fossils assessed. But yeah, very, very exciting day. We got a lot going on. Let's just, uh, let's keep, let's keep going. I really want KFC right now. Even though the last couple of times that I've had it, it's been like subpar. I don't know if that's the same for you guys where you are, but like fresh KFC is so good. Like the delicious chicken and the mashed potatoes. Ah, what I lo really love is the famous bowl. If you don't know what a famous bowl is, it has, it's mashed potatoes. Um, like little popcorn chicken nuggets, corn, cheese, and I forget if there's gravy in it or like barbecue sauce. There's like some sauce on it too. It's been a while since I've had one. Our second ever Nook Mile Ticket Island. I don't think a villager shows up. Do they? Oh, they do. <gasps> it's Aurora. You can just ask them to come. Okay, wait. Do I have enough for another ticket? Because I might- Oh, we do have enough for another ticket. I kind of don't want two penguins. Okay, we might go villager hunting again. We might grab one more ticket after I'm done here. Because yeah, I don't really want two penguins. Sorry. This doesn't make sense to me though. Because like, you're supposed to have the plots. What happens to the plots? When do I build those three plots? I don't even remember. I mean, whatever. I won't complain. We get to see some villagers on day two. Okay, please. Iron nuggets. Yes. Four? Five? <gasps> Six? Oh my goodness. That was an absolute score. <gasps> Thank you. Maybe I should take Aurora. Maybe she's like a lucky charm. They should make it that like the first five islands that you visit ever always have messages in a bottle. I feel like that just makes sense because like you have no DIYs and your Nook Mile tickets are very precious to you in the beginning of the game. I feel like it's just a smart business move, you know? Okay, tree chopping time. I think we have like 24 and 22 of softwood and hardwood. So I want to get at least six of each. And then I think we'll just be on our way. Okay, I got almost all the trees and we have more than six of each wood. So let's, let's go. Let's just uh, 
head back home, grab another Nook Mile ticket, and see what other villager we could score. Alright, 30 hardwood, 30 softwood, 30 regular wood, and 30 nuggets. Leaves us with like barely any resources, but we gotta do what we gotta do. You brought in everything we need all at once. Yep, these are for you. And I feel so bad because this effectively locks Tibby and Tommy inside of the Nook's Cranny for the rest of the game. I'm putting it right here. This is the worst spot to put it, but I'm putting it right here. <laughs> Yay! I mean, I'm gonna move everything. I don't even know like where I'm gonna put things right now, like for my final island. So I don't know, I just throw stuff places. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we got the shop done. Um, I got some presents. Oh, we got some little shorts. We got some cutie shorts. I like that better than the skinny jeans. Uh, I don't know how I feel about these socks. They're kind of a look. But not really. Okay, so I just googled it and read up on the villagers that you find on these mystery islands without plots. And according to IGN, like I don't really remember this beginning stage of the game, but according to IGN, when you build those like three plots, because I remember that, um, it, there's a chance that it'll be one of them. Like, if you invited three, it'll- I don't know. They said it's a chance that the villagers that move into those three plots will be one of the ones that you convince to come to your island on the mystery island. I don't know how true that is. Let me know. But we're gonna go see who we get with this ticket. Okay, please don't be someone good and please don't be someone bad. I want mediocre people. I want mediocre people. It's Coco. <gasps> We're taking Coco. We are taking Coco. Girl? Hello. It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. <laughs> New horizons. Move to my island. Okay, cool. We got Coco. That is so fun. I'm so excited. I've always wanted Coco, but I feel like she's very cottagecore or like maybe more of a city or stuff like that. I've never really felt like she fit in. With any of the themes that i'm doing so i'm just gonna take her and we're gonna have her and get to know her a little bit um until i get my ultimate dreamies for leapfrog so that's so exciting oh okay i'm so glad i decided to hold back on aurora she's a cutie she's a cutie but i kind of wanted you know not not two penguins but anyway i am going to go ahead and collect the rest of these resources on this island and i will say my goodbyes to you so tomorrow we should have our shop open so that's going to be really exciting and i don't know i forget what happens next but i'm very excited we've been making really good progress so i'm proud of us oh we got our first gold nugget cool don't forget to like this video if you liked it and if you didn't like it then dislike it and don't forget to subscribe i'm doing a face reveal at 150k so if you're curious as to what froggy crossing looks like be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified whenever i post videos um, i would hit the bell icon just my personal recommendation so thanks so much for watching day two here on leapfrog and i will see you in the next one